Hello, dear friends. Pro WP. In the last video, I said, you know, I was had some poems that were kind of had some weight, had some anger in them, had some sorrow, and that I was reluctant to share them in these turbulent times. But I was perusing the archives, and I found this one. Uh, that just stood out to me so dramatically that I just had to, <clears throat> I had to share it, because it certainly, have, boy, how history repeats itself. It certainly is more pertinent than ever. This poem. I wrote this poem around the time of, uh, right around the time Bush got reelected, and the Iraq War and the other wars were, you know droning on <clears throat> I was an anti-war activist by the way I'm an anti-war activist living in a southern military town how about that shit it ain't been easy for me I'm, you don't even want to know the horror stories it's not good um but uh yeah, I wrote this out of frustration because of the war, and I was just frustrated because so many seemingly good people were convinced that this was a good idea. You know, Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11 or anything. They just made it all up. It was all for bullshit, profit, imperial expansion. And that's all, all of it is, really. <laughs> it needs to end. Going on 20 goddamn years now. No one seems to care. No one seems to notice. As the bodies pile up, 56% of our tax dollars go straight to killing people that have nothing to do with us whatsoever. And it bugs the shit out of me. I hate that. It doesn't make us safe. It doesn't protect us. You're, they're not defending their country. They're not defending our country. They're not making us safe. They're fighting for corporations. For greed. For the oil companies. For the rare earth minerals over there. You know? Don't you dare talk this kind of shit. You, they'll beat you up. Or try to, anyway. This poem's called The Fall of the Roman Empire. <clears throat> and I'd like to dedicate it to Donald Trump. <clears throat> the malignant narcissist in chief. Or as I like to call him, the evil orange troll. <clears throat> the Fall of the Roman Empire. Alone the man stands, wrapped and bound within anger and fear, with no sanctity whatsoever, no belief apparent in his heart, in this, the most violent culture in the world, his will carries over with the stench of hell and the prevailing winds, of such a vacant, transgressive mass mentality, he never yields to any, for he has never he has never reveled in the omnipresent qualities of human nature or human virtue rather in his unwillingness to succumb to empathy benevolence and remorse he harms far too many his head filled with moxie and spite he cackles and is amused by the suffering he causes. This, to him, is the sweetest thing in the world. Indeed, he has lit the fire that on his final day will consume his spirit. He has no tangible identity in his momentary wicked delights. He cannot live with his pain, so all he knows to do is cause it. He never questions himself, he sees weakness as strength and strength as weakness. He loves only himself and abuses all that come to love him. 
like all demonic forces of this plane. He is a deceitful coward, elusive, and unaware of anything but himself. But as history shows, the greed of capitalism secretly turns the thoughts of it, its weak-minded populace into elitist pigs. What an extraordinary thing it is to be born a human being. What a tragic thing it is to squander your life with notions of extravagant self-gain. Swept along by the currents of hell, he puts his wrath in place where his forgiveness should be over and over again. Motivated completely by lust, He sees disgrace as honor, and honor as disgrace. People of virtue weep for such men, lost amongst their evil nature. And as our damned country becomes more and more fascistic with its greed, it breeds so many impressionable, desperate young men into psychopaths. But since our president is so clearly an evil murdering bastard, I suppose it's all relevant. How do you like that? A lot of teeth in that one. <laughs> that puppy, I wrote that a long time ago, but that's custom tailored to Donald Trump. Funny. I was writing it about... The funny thing is, this is kind of prophetically weird... I never thought about it until right this moment that I'm speaking it right now. But I wrote this poem. It was the concept of this poem was I was imagining the very, very, very worst American. Like the most you know, the like with all the worst characteristics, right? Like the epitome of the worst. Right? Like this like I was afraid like the evolution of our culture is gonna start churning out Someone who would, who was completely, this is the, describing a malignant narcissist psychopath, the, that poem was, which is what our president is. Every day he's in office is like playing Russian roulette with the nuclear weapons. But I think there's shit in place now that where he's got to go. He's, something's got to give. So, at this point, I, I think, I mean, I don't know. But I mean, you would hope. They got some shit in place to make sure, you know, like he doesn't usher in the fucking apocalypse. This is stupid. I swear that man is dumber than a bag of hammers and he's going to see now. It's uh it's getting ridiculous. I mean if you if anyone's paying attention. And we still got twelve thousand eight hundred children, is that's the number now. They weren't telling us, they're still collecting them. They're still kidnapping children. Yeah. And then Jeff Sessions went on TV and uh, used a Bible verse to justify it. <sighs> Satan's going to have a field day with your ass, Jeff. You're going to get punished on the same level that Hitler was. Anyway. Yeah, I wrote this as like about the... Uh, the nightmare outcome, like the worst of the worst, the possi the the concept of the worst American, and and it's all a list of of our bad character traits as within our culture. And then I read it back to me. I read it back to myself today. I was like, God damn, that's a fucking exact description of Trump. Pretty trippy. Anyway. Full of piss and vinegar in this one. Uh, hope you can dig it. Some of you probably get real pissed off. That's okay too. This is my truth. And I must bear it to the world. Anyway, sorry. Probably shouldn't have yelled in the microphone. That probably was annoying to a lot of you. Okay. Catch you next time. Oh yeah, this is copyright under my pen name, Gabriel Somebody. Okay, thank you. Bye.